What's up everybody, Patrick here. Moving on to the next question, we have to determine the values of a and b such that the vectors u equals a, negative 12, 24, and v, which equals negative 4, 6, and b, are collinear. Now if you remember, collinear vectors are ones where you can relate them with a scalar multiple. So for example, we can maybe make u equal to some scalar k times v. If this can happen, then that means the vectors are collinear. So subbing in the Cartesian form for u, we got a negative 12, 24, and that has to equal that scalar multiple k times the vector v, so negative 4, 6, and then b. So we could distribute that k inside this bracket, so basically negative 4k, 6k, and then b times k has to equal these values here. So notice how we can make equations. So negative 4k has to equal a, uh, negative 12 has to equal 6k, and then 24 has to equal bk. And you basically want to find the one where you can solve for k. So notice with this one, there's two unknowns, an a and a k can solve there. Here, two unknowns, b and a k. But here we can solve for k. So the k value is just negative 12 divided by 6, <coughs> which is negative 2. And now notice how we can plug in this k value of negative 2 here. So negative 4 times negative 2 would give us the a value, which is 8. And then we could plug in this k value negative 2 into here and then solve for that b value. So 24 equals negative 2 times b is negative 2b, divide both sides by negative 2, so b would be negative 12. So those are the values of a and b that would make these two uh, vectors collinear, right? So the b value negative 12 would go here, and then the uh, a value of 8 would go here. Another way you can solve this is you can put all the x, y, and z values as ratios. So basically a over negative 4 has to equal negative 12 over 6, which has to equal 24 over b. And then you just find the one that has the ratio that has only numbers, so this one. So negative 12 over 6 has to equal a over negative 4. And you can just cross multiply, solve for a. Same thing here, you can take that same ratio, negative 12 over 6, make it equal to 24 over b, cross multiply, and then solve for that b. And if you do that here, uh, you'll have 6a equals 48. 48 divided by 6 would give you 8, which is what we got over here. And then over here you'd have negative 12b, equals, uh, what is that, 64, or uh, 6 times 24, rather, is 144. Divide both sides by negative 12, that would give you negative 12, right, which is what we got here. So either way works.